James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is July 16th, 2023, 11.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a 7.2 magnitude earthquake on the Alaska Peninsula it came in at 32.6 kilometers, according to the USGS, and there was an associated tsunami warning, and we have numerous buoys in event mode currently, which we will go over. This was a very large earthquake. I believe it originally came in at a 7.5, but we'll see what the other countries and organizations have to say about the magnitude of this earthquake. I'd like to also talk about all the aftershocks right here. As you can see, there's quite a bit of them, and some of them are fairly large. There's a 5.7 and several 4.0s and smaller. Moving over to VolcanoesAndEarthquakes.com, we see that this is happening right where we have one volcano in eruption. And another one awakening. It is on a plate boundary and again probably above or within a magma chamber. Let's get some information here. We see the USGS came in at a 7 4 at least because they're still reporting it on volcanoes and earthquakes.com. We also have a raspberry shake following suit. Now, they both had 9.3 kilometers of depth. That has since been changed to a much deeper earthquake. We will get some detailed information now. Over to VolcanoDiscovery.com, we see them calling it out as a 7.2 magnitude earthquake in the Aleutian Islands. This was a very large quake. Here we see 7.2. To USGS primary source all the way down we see 59.5 atomic bombs worth of energy released unbelievable folks you may remember some of the pictures released after America dropped one atomic bomb on Hiroshima imagine 59.5 atomic bombs worth of energy being released in this small area by this earthquake, plus aftershocks that aren't even equated in this number. All right, currently we have three buoys in event mode, 46414, 46403, and 46402. We're going to get information on all those buoys right now. This is the closest buoy, 46414, and we can see that it was a very minor event. It did last for some period of time, but it was a very minor event, and you're, you're seeing about four or five minutes of time here. So we can see that it only moved a couple of inches, if at all. So the tsunami generated could not have been very large. Heading over to buoy 46403, we see a much larger event. It looks like we had a transition of almost or over a meter here, which is over three feet. As you can see here, look at the water column. And it looks like it's still in event mode here. Uh, so... Station 46403 was much more affected, and there was a sizable tsunami heading out from that direction. Over to buoy 46402, we can see that, again, this was a very, very small event. Uh, and it lasted for a very short period of time. We're talking about inches. So what we will do here is try to find out where the buoy that's so active was compared to the volcano. 
It appears that everyone is downgrading as quickly as they can here. Back to VolcanoDiscovery.com, USGS 7-2, Germany 7-1, Australia 7-0, Raspberry Shake 7-2, the National Research Institute on Seismology 7-2, Italy 7-0, and the French coming in at 6.8. All right, we do have Tropical Storm Calvin, but it's not causing any of this. Heading into Hawaii, and we have a depression or subtropical depression in the Atlantic. This is the buoy that's moved so much, 46402. And we can see where it's located here. We will zoom in and try to get a better look here. And it does look like it's on the peninsula here. Let's zoom in a bit more and see if we can come up. It's on the physical peninsula here that ends right here. It's really a little bit, uh, well, directly south of that. So we'll use that on the other map to determine where we are. So that's the most activity I have ever seen on a buoy after a tsunami report. And let's see if we can zoom down. And wow, it looks like that is almost just where, this is where that is. It's like that buoy is in this area. And the earthquake, now called a 7-2, came in at 7.5, is located really closer to one of the other buoys. But we saw that this buoy number, 46402 in this area right here, had actually moved about a meter or three feet plus. So that could be substantial and could be headed out towards Japan, towards Russia, towards China, towards Asia towards the Philippines, Taiwan, etc. We need to keep an eye on that because a three-foot wave can definitely intensify as it moves across our Pacific Ocean. Zooming in here, I want you to see all the aftershocks. We'll take three away and we'll say 14 total for the 7.2 with 13. 15 aftershocks. It looks like it's still rumbling here. And it it truly looks like uh well it's right on a volcanic ridge, right on that Pacific North American plate boundary, or right north of it, right on the continental shelf. And this is the uptick that I promised you guys over the next 20 days but just a start. I want everyone to remember 59.5 atomic bombs worth of energy were released from this earthquake, not to mention all the energy from the 13 aftershocks. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.